So funny. Hey everybody! Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! We're back. We are back, it's and kind this of is a short a, week. It was a short week. Well, it really wasn't a short week, but it was like back to reality after Thanksgiving and all that kind of stuff. We had yeah, a lot going on. We so did. Like a short did we week. Had a good week. Awesome week. So tonight we're going to be talking hey, Jack- about, hi Jackie, yeah. we're going to be talking about three ways to Am avoid a you? fight. Uh, you're always taller. Why would you want to be shorter? There we go. That's why. Hi Kristen. Yay. This, Glad you're in here, girl. Hey, All Kristen. right. So it is Sunday. Sunday and, fun day. Yep. Sunday fun day. We hop on here on Sundays and we share some marriage movement tips. My first tip is, uh, have you been doing the 12 days of Kissmas? Be honest, have you been doing it, right? So these it's are fun if you do it's only fun so if you do it. Fun, right? You do it, you have to do and it. I feel like what happens is we start off strong, us mm-hmm. too, like we've been there, we've done that. Mm-hmm. So you start off strong and then just kinda like, mm, I forgot and, to check in yesterday. Oh, I forgot to check in today. Yeah, and just give us a thumbs up. Are you seeing the notifications? Because sometimes that happens. Oh, yeah. Set your right? settings. Like are you getting the notifications? Because they pop up every day. So in your Facebook notifications, they should be there. Yes. Waiting for you. Waiting Set the to be group completed. to one of your first, to one of your yes. favorites. It is your favorite. It should be your favorite. Should be. Your marriage should be really important to you, right? It is to me. That was like Mom Guilt 101 right there. Well, their marriage is important to me, too. Oh, that's really nice. Isn't it important to you? You're so much That's why we're than doing me. this. It's true. That's true. Actually, it is, well, it is true. All right. So, so let's, we're... Get, let's talk about how prophetic I am. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Way so this, this topic tonight amazing. is hilarious because. Uh, Ryan and I were talking this morning. I was like, hey, what, you know, what are we going to do our live on tonight? We didn't have it pre-planned, which sometimes is actually better. Mm. And so then this afternoon, we have planned to work on our budget. How many of you have a budget? Drop below if you do. And uh, I don't love the word budget. I don't really love anything that has to do with money. It stresses like me out. It. We love to spend it. We're really good at spending it. And we're really good at making it. But we don't really love to look at the details. So I have a all. question. What goes faster, time or money? Totally missed <laughs> So, did you guys hear that? <laughs> His stomach totally uh, just growled. Okay. All right. So, what goes faster, time or money? It's a good question. I don't really know. I, I'm not really sure. So, uh, we today we are going to go over our budget. Not really necessarily budget, but we're going to go over all of our numbers for the year. Like, how much we spend on insurance, how much we spend on this, that, and the other. So, we can kind of get a grasp before the new year comes. It's not one of my favorite things to do. And uh, as we were going through it, I get very snappy, and it really has nothing to do with Ryan. Maybe a little bit to do with Ryan, but like mostly not to do with Ryan. We do things differently. We do. I. You had a picture of what you wanted in your mind, which was not communicated to me. Nope. Blame me. It I, was one hundred percent my fault because I was uh, not clear in my communication. I took it over. You said do this. I got it done. The what I wanted to do. And it was totally different. Not even in the Not same even in the same country. realm of what I wanted to be done. Universe and is what you wanted. The funniest part is I'm very fast. So like if if it's not moving at a quick speed, I get very agitated. And mm-hmm. it's not really has to do with the person at all. Hey Ken. Hey Ken. It's like all on me. So I'm curious, do you move really quickly in your brain and your thoughts and your activity, or do you move a little bit maybe slower? Not that you're slow. That makes it sound like you're slow. <laughs> totally. There's a slow. She totally means that I am slow. I know. I'm going to slow. I would I like mean, to make the point, though. Hold on. That he moves slowly. No. That doing something fast isn't always the most efficient no. way to do most it. Most of the time I do things wrong. Because you just fly through it and then you're like, whoa, gosh, I got a lot done, but I don't have the answers that I need. Well, that doesn't happen very often, but it, but sometimes I fly through things that I do things wrong along the way, and then I have to go back and fix it. Anyway, so let's so, go back yeah, to the let's prophecy. Go back to the, so the prophecy is literally what we're going to be teaching you guys tonight was what happened today. And as we were leaving Ryan's office, done with the day, I was like, are you okay? <laughs> I'm sorry if I was a little mean. And he was like, I said, what are we talking about tonight? And he said, three ways to avoid a fight. And then wait till you hear the three things as he goes through it. And I thought... Holy cow, did you just come up with that? And he said, no. He actually had the notes from this morning. So it was totally... I've been wanting to do this Facebook Live for like a month so we could cover this. It's hilarious. So I've had it, but it's been Thanksgiving, then you wanted to do this live and that live. So anyway, I'm glad we're having it. Nice. Good job. So the three ways. Let's go. Do you want to to do number one? To avoid a fight. Number one, ignore the tone. You might want to write this down, people. Number one, ignore the tone. I will be 100% honest with you. I can have a rough tone sometimes. Like, a lot of times if you listen to a tone, 
it goes back. It's so much more than like, it's not really about the situation. It's about whatever's aggravating that person. So it's like not really about Ryan when I have a tone or my kids or anybody else or people on my team even have experienced this. They're like, sure. whoa. Like what happened? Yeah, it's like when I get into this speed and then of, of moving really fast and then I get a little snappy. But also, sometimes it has to do with your past, right? So like today, when we were going through some finances, like some things were going through my head, right? Of like things that I heard about money when I was younger, things that I was told about money when I was younger. And it makes you really agitated as you're trying to like push those thoughts out and move forward. And so when I was snapping at Ryan today, it really had nothing at all to do with Ryan. But that's not the first time. Really? I'm no. Sure. I know. There, there's times, know. but over Thanksgiving too, we talked about it where um, we would be doing something and Blair would ask me a question or I would respond and... She's like, wow, that, that wasn't a very nice tone. And I was like, really? Because in my head, <laughs> the way it sounded, it was totally fine. I didn't mean anything by it. So, so a lot of times we don't recognize or intend to have the tone of voice as it comes out. So number one way to avoid a fight is just listen to the words. And instead of like, you know, jumping down their throat, give them a little grace. And like, hey, that, you know, that wasn't really a nice tone. Is there, you know, is, is something really bothering you or is there something else going on? Or, like today, I knew, we know that money is a subject that when we sit down, we just, we, brought, we were brought up different about it, we handle it different, nobody, neither one of us like to talk about it, go through it, <laughs> do it, so it's just like, uh -huh. you know, all right, here's our box, ignore the tone, let's just get through this and get this done, no hurt feelings. Yeah, I think the other thing too, going back to like over Thanksgiving, is um, being able to also find a way that the two of you communicate where you can let each other know, yeah. right? Because there are sometimes I can totally ignore the tone because I know what he's trying to say or I know what's going on at that moment. But then there are other times that you're in front of other people and then it can be kind of embarrassing, right? Mm, yeah. And so like that was one of the things that happened over Thanksgiving. It's like his whole family's around. There's a lot going on. I know that when he used that tone with me, he was just like super busy or like trying to deal with a couple things at once, but they all heard the tone, right? Mm. And so, um, you know, you have to be able to communicate with your partner and be like, hey, listen, earlier when you said that, that kind of hurt my feelings, can you be careful how you say that, especially in front, because they're gonna say, I didn't mean it, and you're gonna say, right, but other people heard you say it, right? right. And your mom was a great example. She, she actually was like, you really hurt my feelings the way you said that, and what he said was so, yeah, he said, so he goes, Blair understands she can leave the room because they were working. They worked together. They were in the middle of working something. on something. He's like, Blair understands. Yeah, he's like, Blair understands. She'll leave the room. So I left the room. Didn't offend me at all. Like, I got later. it. But she was offended by the yeah. way he said it. So, you know, it's important that we communicate. It's important to ignore the tone, but also be able to talk about the tone if you need to. Right. So it's not only how you say it, how the other person hears it has something to do with it. So just understand that, you know, the tone of voice can be clarified. So that was number one. Loved it. Number two. Where are your notes? Right here. Do it. Clarify. Are you really upset with, about this or is something else bothering you? It's always the latter. It's always the latter. It's, al it's always I a, mean, it's always a buildup. Yeah. Almost all. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> it's almost always, but it's not like a flash flood, right? I don't instantly, usually we don't instantly, you know, snap back. It's something going on with work or the kids, or maybe you're just daydreaming about something, and then all of a sudden somebody interrupts your train of thought, and it's like, bah. Yeah. Literally like, bah. For me, I get the most snappy. There's two times. One is after a yeah, well, okay, three times. Certainly. Oh, that wasn't even the top two. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, so I was, oh, if I take a nap, which I really oh, don't my. ever do anymore, but I used to take naps, and when I would be done with the nap, it'd actually be snappy, which didn't really ever make sense. And then the third one is sometimes if I have a drink, like an alcoholic beverage, I get a little snappy. The day after you do, because you feel guilty. <laughs> That's not true. Oh, I thought maybe... <laughs> No, it's like sometimes during because it's like I'm trying to relax. I don't want anybody bugging me. And then who's bug bugs you? People you're out with or something? Sometimes. I don't understand. All right. <laughs> so anyway, I don't see that much anymore. So clarify. Clarify the situation. Is, is the tone really directed at me or is it something else behind it? We never know. And you can use this, these tips with employees, coworkers, friends. Like you never, ever know what's going on um, in somebody's life. So just make sure to give them a little grace and clarify, um, you know, the situation. So true. And then my favorite, my <laughs> personal favorite. Can you guys guess? What do you think number wait, three Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on. Before, 
anybody type Entourage in the comments if anybody has seen the series Entourage. It was probably wait, that's old. Twenty years ago. That's like his H Sopranos. HBO, yes, about the same time. Wow. Anybody Entourage and Entourage? No, Donnie like Jeremy Wahlberg. Was right? Wasn't it Donnie Wahlberg? No. Mark Wahlberg. Mark wrote Wahlberg it. wrote it. Yes, but he, he was, was not a in short it. guy that looked like he used to be in Goonies. No, anyway, okay. let's not go down that rabbit trail. We'll be <laughs> Anyways, here for twenty minutes. Entourage was a, it was a good show. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the third one is Hug It Out. Oh, was that in Entourage? Uh huh. Is that where you're going with that? Okay. They said Hug It Out. Oh. Yeah. Which? Something like that. Okay. Rhymes with our last name. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hug It Out, Critches. <laughs> Hug it out, Critch. That's a good one. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, nothing. It's Ryan's favorite. Absolutely. Nothing, but it's also the hardest to do. When you're annoyed, you mean? Like when we're annoyed each other, the the last thing that really either of us want to do is hug. Right. Especially you. The worst thing but to me do is to well. not. Yes. Is to not. Because if you just sit there and hug for 20 or 30 seconds... Then everything will melt, but it will melt away. <laughs> you can't deny it. No, he's You right. cannot stay mad at me when we're hugging. That's or true. at least it calms us down enough that we can have a civilized conversation and you're not just having an unproductive, flooded argument about probably something that was nothing. So true, so true. Awesome. Well, I hope that this was helpful you for too. you guys tonight. Remember, these so are three, ways. three things to avoid a fight. Yes. First one was ignore the tone. Yeah. Second one is clarify. And the third one is hug it out. Three. Can I give a bonus one? Itch. It's almost like itch. It's ick. I see it. Ick. <laughs> Are you just saying that because the hugs or what? No. Ick. Ick. Oh, gosh, like gosh. it's I-C-H. Ignore, uh, clarify, hug. Here's the bonus one. If you know that you have a difficult topic, something that stresses you both out, and you know it's going to be a challenge and always there's stress and tension and it's difficult to do, then always plan ahead, set it. Like I took her to the office on purpose because it's not inside our house. I knew it was going to be a difficult situation. And you just kind of plan like we're going to give each other grace and no matter what, we're going to get through this. I know it's going to get snappy and tension and stress filled, but let's just get through it. And we did. There were a couple times we could have just, you know... Walked out and quit, but don't do totally. that. Totally. Shows love and maturity. We're good, good. Awesome, because we, we are to better together. Together. All right, All right. check out um, next week. We're back here. Back here. Same time, same place. Turn on your notifications. Bye, guys.